off to the centre to meet my mate Nicola. It's really lovely out here. Um, no coat, as you can tell. But yeah, uh, should be quite nice. Have a little catch up and uh, probably have a little nose around QDs. <laughs> into the co-op after I saw Nicola um, I just went in there just to have a little nose around and I found these and you're not gonna believe how much I paid for them wait for it 50p I mean right granted they go out of date today but it says suitable for home freezing so I can freeze what I don't use now and then keep the rest of them in the fridge and have them later for dinner so I bought a cheap bottle of ketchup. I might have sausage sandwiches later. Yum. Very nice, very nice. And I tried the Greg's Cloudy Lemonade. Very nice. Very nice. And it's only 15 calories for the whole bottle. So yeah. It worked out it worked out cheaper actually to have the cloudy lemonade than it was to have 
say, uh, Coke Life, which was, um, you know, the other option that was there. But yeah, um, I'm kind of regretting the fact that I went out with a cardigan because I got too hot again. It is absolutely gorgeous out there. It really is. I mean, it feels like proper... It's like, it, it's like here comes summer kind of thing, you know. It's really nice. It's up in the 70s. Oh. Um, it's supposed to be like that for my birthday as well. So that'll be good, you know. Um, but yeah. Um, I am actually considering either opening the back door or opening the window just to let some air in. Um, but yeah. Today, while I was in the paper shop, um, I came across some Hot Wheels cars. It was it, the, the first one that caught my eye was this little blue sort of muscle car. Um, it looked really, really cool. And the minute I saw those, the first person that popped into my head was Fireball Tim. Straight into my head, and I was just like, hey, Fireball. So... This is a shout out to Fireball Tim. Um, if, like me, any of the people that watch my vlog like cars, I mean, they could be classic ones, they could be muscle cars, they could be anything, then you totally got to check him out. I mean, totally got to check him out because he, honestly, he gets he gets to see and drive, and it just it's it's so cool. It really is. So yeah. Big shout out to Fireball Tim. Brilliant, you know, I, I thoroughly enjoy It's evening time now. It's actually, it's it's earlier than what it feels. It really is. Um, it's coming on for quarter past nine at night. Um, chilling out in front of the TV. I'm actually watching a rather interesting show called The Treehouse Guys on Travel Channel. The tree that they're working with in this particular episode, which is like the first one, this is this is like the premiere episode tonight. It is beautiful. It's this. I'm not sure they. I think they call it a monkey pod tree. I think they said it's over in Hawaii, um, and it is amazing. Great big branches. The canopy just spreads right out. You know, just just like a, a, a like an umbrella, it's just whoosh. um, and it's it's really really nice. Um, I enjoyed my sausage sandwich. Um, I mean, when I first pulled the sausages out of the wrapping and put them on the plate in order to heat them up, I was a little worried because the the, the scent of the kind of, you know, the spice that they put into it, you know, the seasoning, kind of smelt a little strong. And sometimes I can be a bit funny when it comes to sausages with a little bit of spice in them. I don't really like those. But they were okay. Um, I nearly got into a mess. Nearly. Um, it uh, dripped down my thumb, uh, the ketchup. So, but yeah, and I just had some Tyrrell's crisps with it. Um measured them out, you know, measured out 50 grams. So, you know, I, 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 it, rather than just attacking the bag, which I've been known to do before, it's just like, I mean, they're quite a big bag. Um, and yeah, I, I suppose it would be classed as like a share bag, I suppose. Um, and yeah, previously I've just been known to kind of like pull the bag out of the cupboard and just sit here and munch, 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 which is very bad. I shouldn't do that. Um, yeah, uh, obviously today's Friday, so that means it's only one more day until my birthday. So, yeah, 
I'm hoping, fingers crossed, that uh, the weather continues as it was today. Because then that will just be kind of, you know, that'll be the icing on the cake, really. Hmm, cake. Anyway, it's one of one of my neighbours. Um, literally, his garden is kind of over that way. Um, sort of as I go out, as I go into my garden via my back door. So via my back door, you look that way, and his garden is just over there. Um, there was a cat in the garden um, and it was just it was crying and crying and crying and crying and I couldn't figure out I mean I couldn't even see the cat but I didn't know what was going on um, it turns out the cat wanted to get in um, and it took the guy ages well it felt like ages it must have been something around five ten minutes um, to actually go and open the door and let the cat in but Rather than, rather than talking, you know, talk, rather than being a normal kind of, you know, pet parent, um, the guy was shouting at it, and he was, he was, he was telling it to shut up, and he, he was calling it, um, uh, was it, uh, where well, he was using obscenities actually, um, saying that it was a stupid cat and, and things like, and. Um, he, I'm guessing he lives there with his girlfriend because he was speaking to it. He's like, no, 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 complaining. And then the next thing I heard out of him was, get rid of the cat. I'm like, dude, if you don't like animals, if you don't like cats, dogs, whatever, don't friggin' date someone that has a cat or a dog. So that is going to be everything for today's vlog. So I will hopefully catch everybody tomorrow.